Some of you, it's the one day of the year to get all your holiday shopping done, completed. And others, you're just trying to get that one good deal. Of course, it's Black Friday. WSBT 22's Alex Elich is joining us now live from University Park Mall. And Alex, what did you get me so far? Bob, nothing yet. You never told me what you wanted, so just let me know and I'll get it for you. But here, there is just an electric vibe everywhere at University Park Mall. Even though it's raining outside, it definitely hasn't stopped people from coming out. I mean, just check it out right here. There are people walking all up and down U University Park Mall just trying to get those deals. And even though it's early in the morning, everyone seems pretty awake. They're all looking around. And some stores here opened as early as yesterday at around 6. And some stores still haven't opened yet. So it just, depending on the store, and and, you know what their situation is they'll open when they can but people are here searching for the deals everyone has a smile on their face so everyone's really excited to buy everything and there's decorations everywhere so people are already getting in the holiday spirit but it's a really fun day so far filled with deals and and more gifts but bob i will be getting you something i'll bring you back something for sure all right alex thanks sounds good and menards in fact is one of those uh, open to black friday shoppers just literally Four minutes ago, as you can see, people were in line ready for those deals early this morning. This is new video into the newsroom this morning. Some of those folks getting in line at midnight this morning. WSBT 22 caught up with one shopper about strategy. I don't like to say because you never know who's in line that might be getting the same thing. So I think that you shouldn't just brag about what you're going to get in line. Maybe until you get here, but when you're in line, it's real deal because this ain't no joke. For many, Black Friday started yesterday, Thursday. Employees were busy checking out shoppers at the University Park Mall and other stores. Swiping credit cards, long lines, a familiar sight as many tried to take advantage of some of those holiday savings. Some even sat outside of Best Buy for 14 hours on Thanksgiving Day to try and get deals on those electronics. Now, millions of Americans are hitting the stores today, trying to make sure their deals are the best ones possible, but security also making sure it's heightened on this Black Friday. Dan Ch Don Champion has the very latest from New York. Black Friday shoppers lined up overnight, waiting for stores to open and big deals to be revealed. Many got a head start on their holiday shopping on so-called Gray Thursday, ditching turkey dinner for discounts at major retailers. I'm probably saving about two fifty, which is great for my budget. Some Best Buy stores handed out vouchers for big ticket items to avoid pushing and shoving. The TV is $150 for a 49 inch, so that was a really good deal. For some, the experience was too much. These men got into a fight at a Kentucky mall as shoppers screamed and stepped back. Along with crowds, shoppers heading out today will see heightened security in the wake of the Paris terror attacks two weeks ago. We have uh, police officers in uniform, undercover police, we have our own security force, and we make changes and adaptations as we seem uh, that are needed. The National Retail Federation expects holiday sales this year to hit the $630 billion mark, a 3% increase from last year. Don Champion, CBS News, New York. If you are headed to Chicago to do your shopping today, you might see hundreds of protesters, demonstrators protesting the death of a teenager shot 16 times by a Chicago police officer are planning to try to shut down the magnificent mile shopping area. Gatherings are expected to start about 11 o'clock Chicago time at three different locations between Pioneer Court and Water Tower. But Chicago police are saying they are prepared for what is expected to be massive demonstrations. Now remember, if you'd like to see a list of the store hours, special offers, or Black Friday ads, head to our website, WSF Hours Now, and lots of people are out trying to get those good deals. WSBT 22's Alex Elich is live at University Park Mall. Alex. Good morning, Bob. There are people been lining up outside stores here and people trickling in everywhere and they're just walking around here. There's a very electric energy about Black Friday right now. But actually, I have some shoppers here with me to talk strategy. This is Hannah, Keller, and Carter here. Now, what time did you guys get here? We just got here. Uh, we woke up a little bit late, but, you know, got on that shopping grind in the morning, trying to do our best to get those good deals, you know. So what's your strategy going in today? Uh, we've been uh, looking at all the sales and the magazines and stuff for a long time now. We uh, Black Friday is probably our favorite holiday of the year. Absolutely. And why is that? I don't know, man. The energy. It's pretty electric, and uh, we like having a good time, you know, coming out early in the morning, getting those good deals. So having a great Christmas. Got to get ready in the Christmas spirit. So. so do you guys do all your shopping today, or is this just, you know, one piece in the puzzle? 
Um, I think, yeah, we usually get all our Christmas shopping in today. We usually, um, we're usually here, you know. Hours. 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 Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever camped out before, done anything like that? Mm-hmm. Uh, last year, I was in a tent out at Best Buy for about five hours before the store opened to get in line. I was, like, the second one in line. It was awesome. Five hours. Five wow. Hours. Did you get that? What was it, like a TV, or what would you end up getting? Looking for a flat-screen TV for my dad for Christmas. He, he loved it. It was an awesome gift. Yeah, yeah. one lucky dad. <laughs> one lucky dad, that's for sure. You guys are great kids. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So, again, Black Friday shoppers everywhere. Really, really great energy here. Everyone's walking up and down, getting those deals. And apparently, it's very worth it. Live at University Park Mall, Alex Elich, WSBT 22 News. All right, Alex, thanks very much. Black Friday has not, though, gotten off to the smoothest starts in other states. For some, the experience, yeah, a little too much. Look at these guys in Kentucky getting into a fight at a mall there. Shoppers were screaming and stepping back. Craziness along with the crowd. Shoppers can expect to see tightened security in light of the Paris terror attacks two weeks ago. We have uh, police officers in uniform, undercover police. We have our own security force. The National Retail Federation expects holiday shoppers this year to spend about $630 billion. That's with a B. That's a 3% increase from last year. Now, if you're headed to Chicago to shop, you may see hundreds of protesters along the way. Demonstrators protesting the death of a teenager shot 16 times by a Chicago police officer plan to try and shut down the magnificent mile, Michigan Avenue. Gatherings are expected to start at 11 this morning Chicago time at three different locations between Pioneer Court and Water Tower. Chicago police say they are prepared for what is expected to be massive demonstrations. Yeah, that madness is actually from Black Friday in the United Kingdom last year, but it was scenes like this that sparked backlash abroad this year. A Walmart-owned company who initially brought Black Friday to the U.K., now abandoning the event. Instead, the UK is focusing on a season-long sales period. Keep in mind, WSBT.com is your one-stop shop for all things Black Friday. You can find store hours and highlights from the sales at all the stores. Just